This is Professor Afagamat, and today we are going to discuss about the new topic, which is called body plot. Body plot analysis or frequency analysis is playing very vital role in the field of control engineering. Here today in the lecture, instead of giving the brief discussion about frequency response and frequency analysis, we will directly solve one type of problem. The problem is given Q, that is the question, is equal to G of S, which is equal to K S square by 1 plus 0.2 S in second bracket 1 plus 0.02 S. Now what we have to do, the first step is replace all the S term by J omega. Here I am putting or I am replacing the S term which is equal to J omega. So here this term will be replaced, this term will also be replaced this and this term will also be replaced. So the equation will become and the transfer function will become g j omega is equal to k j omega square by 1 plus 0 0.2 j omega and second bracket 1 plus 0 0.02 j omega. Now first we will have to go for magnitude plot and just before the magnitude plot, we must have to have a table number 1. Several steps are there. If we we'll go step by step, it is very easy to find out the answer. Or else, it will become the most abstruse task, most difficult task to get the final answer. So, these are the steps. In first table number 1, what we have to do? We we'll have to make... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 columns. First column is the serial number. Second is term. Third is corner frequency. Fourth is slope. And fifth is delta slope. That is change in slope. Now first is, first serial number 1. First term is J omega square. Which is located in numerator. So this is J omega square. Second term is 1 by 1 plus 0 0.2 j omega and third term is 1 by 1 plus 0 0.02 j omega. So these are the terms. Now next is corner frequency. So for the first term, the corner frequency we are marking as a dash. For second term, we are, uh, we are denoting this corner frequency as Omega C1 Corner frequency 1 And This is equal to 1 by The J Omega's coefficient That is 0 0.2 Which is equal to 5 Omega C2 Is equal to again 1 by The coefficient of J Omega In this term is 0 0.02 Which is equal to 50 Is it clear? Next is slope If If the value or the j omega is located in the denominator in the numerator so the slope will become positive if the value of j omega or the coefficient or the term is located in the numerator so the slope will become positive and in this equation in this master function we are having the order of this equation that is 2 S square, so that is J omega square. Okay, so we are adding one more number that is 20 plus 20, which is equal to plus 40. For this, we will have to check again. Second J omega is located in denominator. So, whenever the term comes in denominator, we will have to subtract the slope by 20. If it is in numerator, add it. In plus 20, if it is in denominator, subtract it minus 20. 
so it is a minus 20 and for the third term again we are getting that is 0 0.02 j omega which is also located in denominator so the slope will become minus 20 again so the next is change in slope how the slope is changes with respect to different terms for for the first term the slope will remain as it is 40 and which is denoted in db decibel per decade 40 will carry as it is then 40 minus 20 which is plus 20 plus 20 minus 20 which is equal to 0 that is how we are completing the table number 1 now we have to move towards magnitude plot magnitude plot which the value of magnitude is generally given in terms of A it is denoted by A so the table is like this we will have to first prepare the table we will have to first make two different columns first is omega that is the frequency versus amplitude ok first is the frequency and second is the amplitude next we are considering the frequency C here we need to add some extra frequencies that is called lower frequency and higher frequency here is omega h omega l must be lesser than omega c1 and omega h must be greater than omega c2 make sure that we are getting the values of omega l and omega c which is less than or greater than or equal to omega c1 and c2 respectively now the, how to find out the values of a we are having certain formulas the first formula for a l that is the lower magnitude which is equal to 20 log j omega square we are taking the j omega square term in determinant to get the positive answers only so here 20 log 0 0.5 the value of j omega here is 0 0.5 for the lower frequency so j omega square is 0 0.5 square we are getting minus 20 db as a value of lower magnitude now next is ac1 ac1 here what we are doing we are taking we are carrying the same formula 20 log j omega square okay. we are carrying the same formula only what we are doing we are replacing the term 0 0.5 to the 5 because the next frequency omega c1 which is equal to 5 so here 20 log 25 we are getting 28 db as a magnitude now next is ac2 we need to find out the amplitude at second that is ac2 the formula will become delta means change in the slope from omega c1 to omega c2 log omega c2 by omega c1 plus ac1 here the change in slope omega c1 to c2 is 20 here you can see the change in slope from omega c1 to omega c2 is 20 so it is the 20 log omega c2 value is 50 omega c1 value is 5 and in bracket next ac1 the value of ac1 that we have already found out that is 28 ok so 5 here is 10 log 10 is 1 so 20 plus 28 is 48 db and last is ah that is the higher magnitude it is also delta that is change in slope from omega c2 to omega h log omega h by omega c2 in bracket plus a c2 ok so here omega c2 to omega h is 0 see here value is 0 0 plus 48 is 48 and the last what we have to do we we'll have to put all the values of magnitude in this table and complete it and the last part of body code is phase angle plot which is generally denoted in terms of degrees which is 
given by the formula angle of gj omega is equal to 180 minus tan inverse of this term again minus tan inverse of this term but here we are putting only the value or the term that is called as the omega and this is the table number 3 after completion of this table 3 we can go for the find the plot and the table is divided into two columns first is the omega which is given in terms of radian per second and second is phi so what what i am doing to get the perfect slope i am adding some extra values by means of which if in the graph paper or semi log graph paper if we are increasing the number of values we are getting the perfect slope so what i will do first i will take the zero point start with 0.5 Then one, then five, then ten, then fifty, then hundred. So I am getting final smooth curve at the end. So what I will do here, I will simply replacing all the values of omega by this term. So first five one for five one, we are putting the value of omega as zero point five. We are getting the answer one seventy three. Replace the omega by one, you are getting one sixty eight. Replace the omega by five, you are getting one thirty. Replace the omega by ten, you are getting hundred and six. Replace the omega of omega by fifty, you are getting fifty. Replace the omega by hundred, you are getting thirty. By means of this, you can complete the calculation of body plot. Now it is time to actual plot this. In the final step. we all need to plot this curve so this is a semi log graph paper okay and the use of semi log graph paper is uh, we can increase the frequency in ten folds here you can see it start from 0.1 and it ends at 1 okay here 1 so increasing the frequency in terms of the 10 folds 1 to 10 10 to 100 likewise okay uh in this side okay in the vertical scale we need to plot magnitude the value of magnitude and these values are totally depends on the magnitude value that we have got previously that is minus 12 to 48 means the range of the value is it will start from minus 12 it will end it up to the 48 so according to that i have selected the scale which is start from the zero here 0 10 20 30 40 50 okay because the maximum positive value is the 48 and maximum negative value is minus 12 here okay so i have taken this two numbers also minus 10 and this is minus 20 Again, for the phase angle plot, uh, the values of omegas are like that: point five, one, five, ten, fifty, hundred. And the phi is starting from thirty uh, degree, and it will end it up up to the seven one seventy three degree. So what I'm doing, I'm starting here from the zero, thirty, sixty, ninety, one twenty, one fifty, and one eighty. You can select any scale according to your uh, perception; uh, doesn't matter. now we all need to plot a uh, magnitude plot and phase angle plot how we can plan uh, first we'll have to go for the magnitude plot the value of omega are given the values of a is also given now next is for the value of omega 0.5 what is the magnitude which is 12 here the scale will start from 0.1 okay here in depth we can see how it transform here is 0.1 0.2 0.3 0.4 0.5 so just beneath that 0.5 we need to plot minus 12 okay here and the same we need to plot for the values like 5 50 and 100 likewise and join all the point by means of the scale and complete the magnitude plot now next is this 
phase angle plot the values of omega are given and values of phi is also given now i have selected the scale on this side right hand side of this semi log graph paper and now same way we will select for omega is equal to 0.5 the value is 173 here omega we are considering it from this side okay that is from 0.5 the value of phi is 173 likewise we will have to select all the points okay see here number of points are 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here points are 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so here we can join all the points by means of simple freehand and phase angle plot is generally freehand sketch okay and that is how uh, we can complete our body plot thank you very much for watching my videos keep sharing